Hey guys, it's Kim Dow here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another Yes Style haul and this is back to school edition. So as you guys already know, when you shop online, what you see on the website may not be what you get in person. So what I like to do is to try on the item and also compare it to the website photo so you guys can judge for yourself to see if the item looks like the photo or not. Since it's back to school time, I decided to go onto to Yes Style and pick items that are all under $30. So just before I start the video, if you guys haven't yet, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and also turn on that notification bell so you won't miss another video from me and also follow me on my vlog channel because I've been posting a lot of Japan and Korea travel videos let's start the video first item is this oversized flannel shirt this one was $23 I got it in one size in a gray now before I go into detail with this shirt um, I'm just gonna tell you guys my measurements so you guys can have a size reference I am 155 centimeters and I usually wear a size extra small in clothes Yuki is here too. Say hi, Yuki. Hi. She just came back from surgery last week, so a quarter of her body is actually shaved right now. Okay, gonna go play? Gonna go rest up? Back to the review. So comparing this item to the photo, it looks exactly the same. The quality of the material, I was very shocked when I opened this because I expected the material to be quite thin and something that you can wear during the summer. But it's actually really thick, which is very good because you can use this as a light jacket, I guess, during the autumn season. I think this is just a perfect item that you can just throw over your outfit just to keep yourself warm during the colder days. Next item is this t-shirt. It was $12. I got this in a pink in one size. Now when things come in one size, usually it fits between I guess a size small to medium. However, sometimes it's a lot smaller than usual or a lot bigger than usual. But anyway, for this item, it looks exactly the same as a photo, which is great. The sizing, um, I feel like, yeah, it fits me well. I feel like this would fit a size medium quite comfortably. It's not an oversized shirt, but I mean, if you wear a size extra small, if you just tuck it into a skirt or if you tuck it into shorts like what I have done, I feel like it just makes it a lot more better fitted. The material is good quality, it's very soft. However, it's um, not as opaque as I would like it to be. Usually with all my t-shirts actually, I get really annoyed when my shirt is see-through. So, I mean, this one's not exactly see-through, but if I was to wear a darker bra, I feel like it will be see-through, but yeah, other than that, I feel like it's very comfortable, definitely something that you can wear casually. Next item is this black skirt. I got this one for $13 in a size small in black. Now, I've got a lot of these skirts. I wear them all the time, and a lot of people always ask me where I get them from. I usually get mine in underground malls in Korea, especially in Gangnam Station or Express Bus Terminal. However, I've seen a bunch of these on Yesstar, so I thought I would try some out today to show you guys and just review them for you So this black one here is a size small and it fits very well on me um, I feel like it's a perfect fit So I would usually wear, let's just say a size 6 in Australia Which is a size extra small The skirt sits on my waist very nicely and there isn't that much room as well So it's a very tight fit Also one thing I really like about these skirts is that underneath they have shorts. For $13 though, I think it's a pretty good deal and it's something that you can wear with a lot of different shirts. Now, I did buy the skirt in another color, so let me put that on and compare for you guys. This is the next skirt. It was $13 in a size extra small in a light blue. Now, I really wanted to try out different sizes and colors to just compare these skirts. Sizing wise, if I had to choose between the size extra small and the small, I would choose a size small because there was a lot more breathing room. This one here, there's literally no breathing room, so it kind of hurts to wear this skirt. So if you were to get this skirt, I would highly recommend you go one size up. If you go on the Yes Style website as well and go right to the bottom of the page, you'll find a bunch of reviews on this item and it seems like a lot of people also suggested to go one size up because yeah, it is a very tight fitting skirt and when you wear your clothes you want to be comfortable but that's just the size um, the quality is really good I am happy with this item for $13 it is good quality the ones that I usually buy in Korea they're about $20 they're slightly better quality but I'm pretty happy with this one now for the next item I actually bought exactly the same skirt but in a different brand so let's just put that one on and compare now the main difference between the two items is the price this true skirt is double the price of the previous 
previous skirt I showed you guys. First of all, just judging the skirt by itself, it is a very nice skirt, it fits me very well. There's a little bit of room as well to breathe so it's very comfortable to wear. The material is also very soft and really good quality. I have to say that I do like the shorts underneath on this one a bit better because they are longer on the previous skirts I showed you guys. It is quite short and it kind of rides up your butt a little bit. This one here, you don't really have to worry about that because it is quite long. Now comparing the two skirts, so obviously this one is a bit darker, but in terms of comfort, I feel like the Chu one is a lot more comfortable. I also feel like the cut on the Chu skirt is a lot better as well, especially the shorts underneath. Is it worth double the price of this one though? Um, just honestly speaking, like, Unless if you were really picky about the quality, I would just go for the cheaper skirts because they do the job just as well. Next, I got this long sleeve shirt. This one was $12. I got it in a light pink in one size. Comparing this to the photo, it looks the same, so that's great. Actually, I feel like it looks better if I just roll up the sleeves a little bit more. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Sizing, I feel like it fits me pretty well. There is quite a bit of space left in it so I feel like it can fit um, up to a size medium. Now guys, the quality of this blouse is really good because I am super picky when it comes to blouses in terms of the material. This one here, you can just instantly tell when you touch it, it's really good quality, very comfortable and it's very light as well so it's perfect to wear during the summer. Definitely a piece I can see myself wearing for a while. Next I got this skirt for $7 in black in one size. First of all, it looks exactly the same as the photo. Um, quality wise, I mean it's not like the greatest quality but it was only $7. So for $7, pretty good. The size is pretty good for me, it's very comfortable. It can stretch to, um, I guess, to about a size medium. Now, I have to say with this skirt, it is very short. So I'm only 155 centimeters. I usually don't have a problem with skirts being too short for me. So definitely don't get this skirt if you are tall. Even for me, I would have to wear shorts underneath. And even then, I don't even know if I feel comfortable wearing it because it's yeah, it's just way too short for my liking. Next, we got this oversized cardigan. This one was $19. I have it in a grey in one size. First off, comparing this to the photo, it looks the same sizing-wise. So, I mean, I know it's meant to be oversized, but I feel like it's a bit too big on me. Um, if it was a bit smaller, it would be a bit more flattering, but I mean, I still like it because it is very comfortable. Because it's so big, it would definitely fit up to a size medium or even a large because, yeah, guys, look at this. It's huge. Inside you've got some fleece which makes it very soft and snuggly. Now, it isn't as thick as it looks because when I looked at the photo, when I got the item, I thought it was going to be like a really thick jacket that I can wear during the winter, but that's not the case because it is quite thin, but that's kind of good because you can still wear this on the, I guess, cold summer nights. Next we have this t-shirt from Chu. This one was $19. I have this in pink in one size. Now I've been shopping on YesStar for a while and this t-shirt kept on popping up every time I would search on YesStar because it's one of the best sellers. The size fits me really well, but I have to say that this shirt would probably only fit up to a size small I think. The material is very soft and nice. I'm really happy about that. It's got some pink lining around the sleeves as well which is yeah done really well. Now is it worth the $19 price tag? So I have owned a lot of Chew items and I've used them for years. So I guess if you're looking for something to last you a while then yeah it'll be worth it. I read reviews on this item as well before I bought it and a lot of people agreed as well so yeah I think it's a great item and it's really cute. Next I got this t-shirt for $10 in one size in grey. However on the model it looks a little bit more loose on her. I mean the sizing I guess depends on whoever wears it because it's only one size but on me I feel like it's quite fitted on the shoulders but still it's comfortable and yeah definitely can wear this just on a casual day where I just want to throw on a t-shirt. Next I got this top for $8.50 in wine red in one size. Comparing this to the photo um, I have to say it's a bit different because this one here looks really bright red, right? But in the photo, it looks more of like a deep maroon red. So first of all, yeah, the color is different. The size of the shirt fits nicely. I feel like it will fit up to like a size medium because it is still quite baggy. So if I just tuck it into my shorts, that would solve the problem. The material, I guess it kind of looks the same, but I feel like in the picture, the 
top is a bit longer because the model tucks it in and she's got quite a lot of it hanging off the back but for me there's really not that much hanging at the back here so yeah I feel like the item that they're showing in the photo is not the same one next I have this skirt for seven dollars in a black in a size small now first of all it does look like the photo sizing wise this is a size small and I would suggest you go maybe one size up because or maybe even two sizes up because I usually wear extra small and the small size is quite tight on me to the point where I'm finding it quite hard to breathe. Second of all, the skirt is very short because I was sitting down earlier wearing this skirt and yeah, I can feel like my butt cheeks were being exposed. A little bit longer it might be okay, but yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. It's just a bit too short for me. For $7, I feel like it is a good deal because it's good quality, it looks good as well, but um, yeah, I suggest definitely going at least one or two sizes up. Next, I have this turtleneck sweater. It was $9, and I have this in grey in one size. First of all, it looks exactly the same as the photo. The material is really good quality, so it is quite thick, um, thicker than I expected. The material is just so soft and comfortable, so I feel like like you can definitely wear this during the warmer seasons. It's actually winter right now in Australia and this is just perfect for that. And yes, you guys know me by now. If I like something, I'll buy the same item in different colours. So I got the black version as well. Just because I really like turtlenecks, they keep me really warm during the winter and I feel like they look really flattering as well. Looks exactly the same as the photo. Same as the grey one, it's still very comfortable, very nice material, very thick as well. So yeah, I love these. Next, I got this oversized long sleeve T for $11 in ash pink in one size. Now yes it is oversized so it's meant to be quite baggy but I feel like it's a little bit too big on me but when you tuck it into a tight fitting skirt I feel like it looks okay because if I don't tuck it in it's like this. So I think for me to pull it off definitely needs to be tucked in because it gives me a little bit more shape I guess. Material is also really soft and nice as well to wear so for $11 I think it's pretty good. Next I got this blouse, it was $9.80 in one size in greenish yellow. Comparing this to the photo, it looks the same. Um, sizing wise, it's quite loose on me actually. So if I tuck it in, it's not bad. Quality wise, the material is soft and comfortable. Um, the one thing though I have to mention is that it's a little bit see-through. So that's yeah something I don't like about this. But it is a very nice flowy piece that you can wear during the summertime. But even though it's a little bit see-through, I don't think you can really tell unless if you look really closely. So yeah, it's still a nice item. Next, I got this skirt for $9 in a size medium. Now, first off, comparing to the photo, yep, it looks the same. Uh, Sizing-wise, even though this is a size medium, there isn't that much space left to be honest. So yeah, um, I would definitely go one size up because I was thinking that this would be too big for me but yeah it fits just right I have said I don't really like this because it's very thin guys um, I feel like the material isn't that good quality I mean I know it's only nine dollars but to be honest um, I bought a couple of items from YesStyle for nine dollars before and they've been a lot better quality it's just that it's very thin material that feels very cheap. I feel like if I put this in a wash once, it's just gonna get destroyed. Not really a fan of the skirt to be honest. Next, I got this off the shoulder top for $8.20 in a black in one size. Comparing this to the photo, I don't know, like on the model, it looks like it fits really nicely on her and also it doesn't look like there's, you know, excess material everywhere, but on me, it just doesn't exactly look right. I mean, I scrolled through the comments and it had a lot of good comments and everyone was saying that it fits them perfectly, so maybe it's just me. Even though I've been tucking it in and stuff, like, there's just bits and pieces hanging around and it just doesn't look that flattering on me, to be honest. Especially around these armpit areas, it just looks like, I don't know, just excess hanging out there, doesn't look very cute. Um, even if I pull it up, no, it doesn't look good. Yeah, I don't know, not for me. And then I got the same item in a different colour. This one was $8.20 and I got this in white in one size. Same problem as the first item, it's just way too big. And yeah, you can just see how loose it is, guys. Like, on the model, it looks like it's very tight on her and fits really well. But on me, just, I don't know, not feeling it, sorry. There's like 
bits hanging out everywhere even though I've tried to tuck everything in and especially the shoulder parts as well it just doesn't really want to stay up because it's so loose next I got this long sleeve crop top I got it for $11 in a black in one size item looks exactly the same as the photo which is great um yeah I really like it it's very comfortable and sleeves are a little bit too big for my liking as you can see it's very loose but I guess it's meant to be like that the one thing I have to mention is that it's a little bit see-through so just be careful with that but yeah this is very loose loose fitting so I would say it would fit up to like a size medium very easily. Next I had this oversized t-shirt this one was $10.30 I have it in navy blue in one size. Size wise I mean it's meant to be oversized so if I just untuck it to show you guys it looks like this. So yeah it's very oversized for me you can even wear it as pajamas which is great but yeah I like this shirt it looks really cute and definitely something that you can wear to school because you can match it very easily with just some shorts or some denim jeans quality is also very good because the material is very soft and because it's oversized it's very comfortable and you can move around very freely i like it next i have this denim jacket it was 21 dollars and in a size small comparing this to the photo it does look like the photo which is good except you can tell this jacket is very cheap because it freaking stinks like it reeks of chlorine another thing that really annoys me is the buttons they well the buttonholes they aren't cut up and you have to do it yourself which I don't know I just really hate doing that I just think that unless if you've got a really good reason to not um, do the buttonholes then you should do the buttonholes when you sell your items but yeah I really can't stand wearing this any longer guys it smells really bad definitely 100% do not recommend next I got this cat t-shirt it was $11 in white in one size now guys this is just the cutest thing ever um, comparing it to the photo right looks the same but I do have a few <laughs> Um, things I want to say about this. So first of all, um, this is only in one size. I expected this to be an oversized t-shirt. Unfortunately, there isn't a photo of a model wearing the item, so that was what I assumed. But I don't think it's going to fit you unless you wear a size extra small or a size small, which is a shame because, you know, it's one size and you think that it will be a bit more bigger to fit um, up to size medium. Just judging from the size on me, I don't think it's going to fit a medium. Next I got this blouse for $11. I got this one in earth yellow in one size. Comparing this to the photo, it looks exactly the same. Sizing wise, I feel like it fits pretty well, but I feel like it would only fit maybe a size extra small to a small for this item. The material is really nice as well. Like I said earlier, I'm very picky when it comes to material for my blouses. I actually don't have this color blouse in my wardrobe at all. I kind of always stayed away from yellow my whole life, but you know what? This is not a bad color. Out of all the items I've gotten today, I think this one is my favorite so far. Next, I got this blouse for $10 in khaki in one size. From my understanding, khaki is more of like a green color, not brown. When I compare the colors of this blouse to the photo, um, I mean, if the khaki one is the brown one, I feel like this one's a bit lighter than the one in the picture. When I bought this item, they only had two options. They had ivory and khaki. So I kind of assumed that they didn't have a picture of the khaki blouse. So even though it doesn't look like the photo, I still like it. I then got a bunch of accessories. So first off, I'm going to show you guys some beanies. This one here was $5 in light grey in one size. This is what it looks like. It's actually quite tight, but not too tight, so it's good. At least it won't fall off my head. Yeah, I really like that. Nice and casual. I really like this material as well. It's really thick. I also got another beanie in another color. This one was also $5 in wine red. So, put that on. Yeah, I like that. And one more. Oh, my hair's so messy now. This one was also $5. And this one's in pink. This one is such a cute color. I love it. I then got this beret for $5 and this one's in wine red. I love this. Looks exactly the same as the photo. And I actually already have this one in wine red, but I lost it. I wore this when I went to Japan a couple of times and I think maybe I lost it in Japan because I looked all over for it, couldn't find it. And because it was only $5, I decided to pick up another one. I then got this cap for $6. This one is in black. So just a very simple casual cap. I usually don't wear caps, but I'm liking this one. 
I picked up this pair of fake glasses for three dollars. I kind of just picked this one up for fun and for photos. I actually really like these glasses on me. I think when I go buy glasses next time, I'm gonna try and find a frame exactly like this one. And then for fun, I bought some colorful sunglasses. This one was only two dollars. I got this in purple and with a gold frame. Oh yeah. Oh, I love that. That's so cute. When I was in Japan, I really wanted to buy a pair of colored glasses, but these were really expensive in Japan. I saw them for like $20. I really didn't want to pay $20 for a pair of sunglasses that didn't really work. But these ones were only $2 and yeah, I feel like it's very cute and something that you can just wear for photos. Or even if you just put them up here, they look cute. Yeah, I like that. Last item, these glasses were also $2. I got them in the pink lens and gold frame. Oh, it's so cute. Yes, I love it. Yeah, love them. Only $2 as well, so it's such a good deal. Thank you so much guys for watching this video and hopefully it was helpful. I was actually pleasantly surprised on a lot of the items because some of them were only like $10 and were really good quality. So yeah, good bargains there. If you guys have any more requests for videos like this, then please let me know in the comment box down below. I'm also traveling to Japan this month soon, so if you guys want any more Japan videos, then let me know what you want me to film in the comments because I'm planning to film a lot of videos whilst I'm in Japan this time. Please thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Also subscribe to my vlog channel as well because you'll get to see all my travel videos. Follow me on Twitch because then you can watch my in real life Japan streams. I also play Overwatch, so if you guys want to play games with me then make sure you guys follow so you can catch another stream if you guys are going back to school then good luck study hard and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys